Hiya, it's me again. Obviously, I'm just trying to work my way through a video to-do list this Saturday because I only really have the weekend to make videos right now. Um, I hope you're well. Happy Saturn day. I do have a bit of a sore throat, so please bear with this. Um, Neptune, by the way, is associated quite often with illness and sickness, colds, that kind of thing interestingly um but yeah hi hinsters welcome back to the channel and if you're new welcome to a quick one here on the current retrograde of yes neptune in pisces and first of all if you like what i do give us a thumbs up boo <laughs> and maybe subscribe if you like neptune then mellow medicinal healingly musical musically healing i've spoke before about this god retrograde on my channel how it is like smelling the coffee waking up or waking up and smelling the coffee um a striking kind of abrupt waking up in the night out of some doubt like like waking up out of doubt not waking up from the doubt but you wake up and you realize there's no longer a reason to doubt or waking up and no longer being confused about something, someone, some situation. And I wanted this time at this moment, as I feel them, as the sun is about to jump out of Cancer and into Leo and we enter the second Leo or, or the second hot season, and the second fire season of the astrological year to talk then a little bit about how we have an opportunity here to change the way that we see ourselves and in brave and joyful ways now neptune not quite the god of music more like the god of the dreaminess that music can take us to it's like neptune is a god of silence the twinkling yet inexistent or incapturable lights dancing on a water surface you know neptune is very often associated with mist uh, anything intangible we have here the navy rimmed mirror we've got deep sacrifice we've got numbness and not really knowing our, our way or that we are even lost of course retrogrades often represent reversals for many people and now we can be experiencing then a reversal of these neptunian expressions we can be finding our way finally settling something perhaps a love spell of some sort has worn off perhaps some of us are doing something that we know is already redundant <laughs> but we're still kind of doing it kind of just being down for the ride but sort of knowing that you really shouldn't be because it is going to end the same way it ended the last time this is stuff like a past lover as well that just can't keep off you and it's all very um carousel like and glittery and a bit like a big ass disco ball but like you're sort of stumbling around the dance floor kind of ready to call it a night you're looking for your jacket and neptune retrograde also invites us to pull ourselves up and out of sticky messes quite frankly <laughs> It might be a time for some to like give some bitter medicine. Some people finally see how they've been pretending, how they've been lied to or been liars themselves or a bit of both or how they've been also far too all encompassing. I speak also to people who have for a long time doubted any positive future for themselves here neptune can bring quite unbelievable reversals and they are real 
these things are real and and you will have to kind of pinch yourself neptune rules um shrouds and clouds and illusions and perhaps you are now with this retrograde experiencing a clearing away of these things seeing the real light perhaps seeing who or what is really worth the love because neptune is also associated with the deepest of devotions or perhaps more acutely a surrendering type of devotion because really all the gods are about devotion in my view um many people often don't believe right that they really are good at something or worthy of something even when friends family lovers tell them that they are this or that and i think that neptune going retrograde kind of helps some some people find themselves now it can also calm the voice in the head that sort of kept us in doubt or that kept us distracted and focused on surrendering to some total other thing that might have just been taking us away from our spiritual path or that which we are you know rightfully here to conquer and leo season is fast upon us as i feel them and with venus there in leo as well venus being a goddess exalted in pisces by the way I'm just loving how the gods are conversing and how many people now are not going to be silent in different ways. And this silence or this sleep, which Neptune retrograde is now disrupting or unveiling for what it really is, it is found wherever we have Pisces in our birth charts. And the house where we have Pisces then will give us some indication of where this Neptunian re-seeing could be happening. Many of us could have um, wasted our time on someone else's dream, <laughs> perhaps even spent years or decades doing this. And a Neptune retrograde upturns also things like our foolishness and helps us see ourselves and what we are actually doing to and for ourselves. It's an opportunity for some to get very much everything that they ever wanted. Neptune Retrograde can also express itself in other ways. Like uh, for me, <laughs> I have this um, little handful of colorful seashells and stones that I brought from the UK all the way here to Korea. And I kind of forgot about them in all my bags and found them recently in a secret pouch and I was just like oh yeah them and uh yeah so I've just put them like nicely on my bathroom sink so I can look at them uh like little friends little old friends and think of my family and my homeland like whenever I look at them and Neptune is like also the everythingness and the emptiness all together and I quite like that we're talking about Neptune now as we wrap up cancer season you know, it's it's like how when you watch an ocean documentary and in some scenes the ocean just looks so vast and terrifyingly devoid of life or movement, then in the next scene it's teeming and like an absolute celebration of all things um all things, all kinds of species and colors and stories, like the whole drama of it all. And Neptune, I found in my own astrological studies over the years, it does have some special connection to grandparents or older generations of our ancestry. Also with Neptune's sun aspects, I've noticed this. And uh, maybe this is going to become more prominent for some people in Virgo season when the sun actually opposes Neptune. But also, especially as we wrap up again in Cancer season today, there may have been something really uh, special. Or maybe you find 
a really nice old family photo or something like that, you know, retrogrades quite can quite simply be about looking back and reflecting. Neptune can also represent where we may seek magical wrath and uh, oh, what was I watching? Wakanda Forever in that film and the sort of Aztec based people of the ocean. Um, that is a good representation of Neptune archetypes. And um, yes, Neptune does represent where we may seek magical wrath or where magical wrath can occur in our charts, in our lot. And we have to take care sometimes of that, especially when Neptune is retrograde, because any like unfaithful or devious acts may end up being very futile. But overall, I feel this Neptune retrograde is a lovely chance for many to do that hanged man in the tarot kind of thing of seeing themselves or a situation or a story in a whole other light and with the sun as well very soon as I fill up entering Leo I'm just loving for many people the glitz and the glamour and the glow up that this can bring and is bringing for people so let me know in the comments if you are resonating with Neptune retrograde right now where you have Neptune in your chart and just let me know how your weekend's going as well I'd love to hear from you Anyway, take care. I'm going to stop talking tonight before my throat completely dies. Um, that's enough videos for today. I love you. Goodbye.